who perfectly fulfilled human life as a man doing always the will of the Father. There's no other one in all of history who did that, and that's why he could give himself for us. His righteousness becomes ours. When we're saved, we don't become righteous on our own. We're blessed to have the righteousness of Christ covering us. And God chooses to forget what we do. And then when we're in glory, that will be dealt with altogether anyhow. And we will be Christ. Oh, what a glorious day that will be. But there are people all around you that are wrestling with things that God programmed them to wrestle with. Some are in denial and will remain in denial until the Spirit breaks that down. But they're all there. That's what the Scripture is telling us today. There is something in every man and woman that hints to him, screams at him, pulls him towards the truth, that he's a mess, that she's a, a real piece of work, that things need to change. And when they really turn to look at God, the Christ holy God, what happens? A certain sense of hopelessness and despair, hopefully, until they find that they can reach out to God and He will embrace them and give all of Himself to all of them. Paul is not holding back, nor should we. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father, for the truth of your word today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Joe, when we're done singing, would you be willing to close us in prayer? Thank you. All right. Um.